I'm Lindsay Beregard. And I'm Stephen Markley. Lindsay, this is our tailgating episode. You were supposed to wear your football gear. I know, but I forgot my Hawkeyes jersey at home. Yeah, well, I guess if my team had lost to the Buckeyes for, what, three straight years, I might forget my jersey, too. Well, at least my team isn't named after a glorified acorn. So sit back. Oh, yeah, a Hawkeye. That's a real thing. And buckle up. You're watching Cars Cast Weekly. We here at Cars.com picked our top 10 best tailgating cars. Favorites included the Honda Ridgeline with its built-in cooler, the Dodge Caliber with its flip-down liftgate speakers, and the Chrysler Town & Country with its swivel and go seats. For a full list of our top picks for 2008, check out the full story in Cars.com's advice section. BMW is donating driving lessons to veterans wounded in the Iraq War. The automaker is offering instruction, the use of specially outfitted test cars, and time on its track in South Carolina. Through these lessons, Marines who have lost limbs can learn how to drive using alternate controls. Not only do the lessons serve the practical purpose of training wounded veterans in driving skills, but Marines at the BMW Performance Center reported that it helped them deal with anxiety after returning home from war. Good for BMW. Absolutely. Well, Stephen, earlier we mentioned some features that will make for a great tailgating experience, but what about in-car Wi-Fi? Great idea. I don't know how many times I've had to look up important info, like if the state I'm driving in has a cell phone ban for drivers. Because if it does, that means I have to use Instant Messenger the whole time. And this is exactly the concern some people have for in-car wireless internet. But that's not why Microsoft is introducing its version of a wireless service dubbed Wi-Fi. Microsoft points to the iPhone as an example of how useful wireless service in a car can be. You can have information on everything from game day traffic to weather to kickoff times available instantly and replace expensive subscription services like XM Satellite Radio. And blogging. You can blog about blogging while driving to the game while actually blogging about driving to the game. Frightening. But Steven, I know you were supposed to do the last story, but I figured I'd try something a little different. With gas prices uncomfortably high, it's time for a clash of the titans. Fossil fuels versus cars, and automakers aren't taking any more of it. Ford gave the Escape V6 a transmission and valve train upgrade, and now it achieves two miles per gallon more. Hyundai tweaked the drivetrain of the Accent for another one to two miles per gallon. And GM, oh mama, GM has introduced its XFB versions of its vehicles, which stands for Extra Fuel Efficiency. That's right, this fall gasoline and the internal combustion engine may take the field at the same time, but only one is walking away a champion. Lindsay, what are you doing? What, what was that? What? I thought I'd have a little fun with the story about added fuel economy in the new model. <sighs> Lindsay, <clears throat> we're journalists, okay? People come to us, they rely on us for information about car buying. You can't just throw together some clips based on a silly conceit, do a funny voice, and expect people to take you seriously. I'm, I'm really disappointed. But you, the, the Joker makeup, the tap dancer? Yeah, uh, shh, all right, all right, just, just go to the clip of the week, okay? Fine. Cars that comes, Patrick Olson was having a little bit of trouble with the tailgating seats in the Chrysler Town and Country in our clip of the week. It's way awesome. Right. This is far better than any other, ow, you know, ow, clip that's up there. I didn't do it. Oh, I know what the problem is. I'm hitting the buttons with my back. First of all, it's got these power seats that you can just flip down if you've pushed the right button. <laughs> Kelsey! Wham. You sit in, you hop in, very comfortable. All right, all it, right. It also comes with serious satellite television, and the buttons are still going, and I'm about to be eaten alive. <laughs> Where's Kelsey? What, what feature is this? <laughs> what is, like, that's the stow and go. This is the man-eating minivan. Comical. Extremely comical. But anyway, that's all the time we have for this week. We won't be here next week, so tune back in on the 19th. For Cars Cast Weekly, I'm Lindsay Beregard. And I'm Stephen Markley, and until next time... Keep your veggie burgers away from my tailgating party. For more car-related news, go to cars.com or our blog, Kicking Tires.